So a company named Akala reached out to me and asked if I wanted to cover one of their smart products. I said yes, and the biggest reason is because not only is this product a, you know, smart home product, which I really do love smart home tech, I figured that possibly this could have some great usage as a content creator to create some ambient lighting for, you know, the back of my scenes, for B-roll, um, for a lot of things really, and you can really get fancy with it with your streams. And that product is the Decala Arches. And um, this is actually the Arches Elite uh, product. And we're gonna go over this today. The Arches is a smart alarm clock with a speaker, weather display, nine dynamic lighting effects, 16 million selectable colors, sleep aid lighting, sunrise alarm clock, uh, app and voice control, whether you wanna use Amazon's or Google's. Uh, it has sleep aid white noise. It's got a great time display that syncs real time with daylight savings time uh, auto adjustment. It's got a really nice soft light uh, casing that really nicely diffuses the colors inside of the unit itself. And you can share control with people and anybody in your home. Now let's go ahead and open the box up, get the product out and see what's included and get a look at the product itself. All right, so let's get this opened. Uh, let's take a look at the box first. Um, so it seems to advertise it a lot beside beds, which makes sense, it being a clock and all. Um, we get a sleep assistant, speaker, it's got a charger, display for weather, that's pretty cool. A sunrise alarm clock with the lights, which is actually one of the main features, and sleep aid sounds. Five on one light helps you fall asleep and waking up feeling refreshed and less stressed. And they have a two year warranty, lifetime customer support, 30 day money back guarantee. It's pretty good. So similar to what we just read, wireless app control works with the assistance. Uh, let's get it open. All right. Well, not much in there. Got a manual and a device. packing foam in the middle. So here's the charger right in the middle here, uh, which is actually really convenient. On the bottom, you got the speaker, uh, rubberized feet, power, Bluetooth, two alarm button settings. Uh, I think that's a sleep timer. And I guess that's Wi-Fi connection. You got a woofer hole, so that's nice. Hopefully the audio sounds pretty good. You have a USB-C output uh, 5 volt for charging, which is dope. And you have a barrel plug charger for the device, or actually power, not charger. And yeah, overall the, the device is very uniform in looks. Um, I wonder if that's capacitive or not. And in here, I'm assuming we have that barrel charger or that barrel adapter. Yep. And it is also white to match the device. It's got a pretty long cable. Okay. It's got a relatively long cable, I'd say maybe four feet. So it should be pretty good. Very thin power supply. 12 volt to 200 milliamps. Um, yeah. Very straightforward, easy packaging. The packaging is pretty decent. You know, the product's in good shape. The box was a little bent up from shipping, but the product itself is in great shape. And that's good news. Uh, we're just gonna get it set up for the first time. So one quick downside is that the cable is only four feet long. 
So that's a bit short for my liking. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a problem for you. It, I think it might be a problem for me depending on where I wanna put it. Um, if I wanna put it beside my bed, maybe not, but if I decide to put it somewhere in my streaming area, um, I might have a harder time reaching where I would want it to go. All right, so we just plug it in on the side here where we have the DC in, and then we also have the USB-C out if you wanna charge something. All right, so we get that set up like so, and now we get out our phone, and we go to the Smart Life app. Now, I already use this app for another, um, another device. I, use it for, I used it for my old Smart Plugs. Um, I don't use it right now, but I used to use it. Uh, so I already had it installed, so we're gonna go ahead and launch that. And you see the flashing icon here on the device. And that means that it is ready to connect to Wi-Fi. And we go ahead and open up the add device on the app here. It's gonna search for any nearby devices. So we just gotta give that a second. All right, so now it has discovered our arches. We're gonna go ahead and add that. And it's gonna to want to connect to my two and a half gig Wi-Fi. And once we click next, it should start to connect. So yes, this device only connects on 2.4 gigahertz networks as most smart devices do. Um, but once you do that, you can connect your phone back to your regular five gigahertz connection if you so have that and oh as we can see it's already showing weather um, the time is updated the Wi-Fi signal is there and on the phone it is said it's connected successfully so that's awesome so here we get all of the really cool features of the device um, in the app so we get to see weather temperature UV that's really cool we can turn on the ambient lighting um, we can turn on the actual light and we can change that color um, however we would like. Um, so that's actually really cool. So this is really bright for my top-down camera, but, um, you know, I can actually lower the brightness to make it a little more reasonable for my top-down camera to deal with. Um, but yeah, we get to change the, the colors on the fly, which is really, really cool. Um, and we have the... Uh, night mode, which is nice as well. The ambient light, you can change it. There's different presets. Uh, there's breathing modes. Um, they have like diff they basically different presets for different kind of uh, color presets that they have going on here. And they have one for dynamic music, which is nice as well. Um, you can set all of your alarms here. You can set your sleep aid, um, which is nice. And you can adjust the volume. You can also adjust the name of the device as well. So overall, this was a really simple setup process. Um, the app is great. It works great with a lot of different devices, so that's nice. The manual is actually really well set up as well. Um, makes it very easy to connect um, and get through everything. So that is good. It walks you through all the different portions of the app. And the nice thing about this is the app setup on the manual here is accurate to what the app actually looks like. I've had a lot of products that I've gotten in where the app that shows up in the document um, is not the same as it is on the phone anymore, you know, because of an update or what have you. So it's nice that this is up to date right now. I can't guarantee that that'll be like that in the future, but as of right now, it is accurate. So it does give you a really good walkthrough of what all the different sections of the app does how to set up things, um, and how to adjust all of your settings, which is really cool. Now, we do have the touch on the top. Now, the interesting thing about this is that this is not actually a touch capacitive button. The uh, touch is actually these two feet on the front are a button. And when you click that down, it changes the um, lighting mode and the touch on the top is just to show you where you could press and you're actually clicking down on those two feet that are on the floor so just keep that in mind 
you're gonna have to put a little bit of force into it to get it to work um, but other than that it's working pretty well and I'm gonna go set it up um, beside my bed So as much as using it as it's supposed to be used as a, you know, bedside or side table light with a clock, you can also use this in your creator space to create some kind of ambient light, as you can see right above here. Um, and because it gets so bright, it can really actually add a lot of color to your backdrop or wherever you decide to put it. The other nice thing is because it's able to be controlled with your smart device like Alexa or Google Assistant, you can do a lot of extra things with it as well. And if you wanna take it a step further, you can even use something like Lumia Stream to allow your stream to control these lights, which can add a really fun interactive experience to your streams. The Decala Arches may not be the greatest option for this, but if you were to get something cheaper, like the Prismatic, for example, this one seems to be perfectly set up for something of this nature. It'd be a really, really nice ambient light to have in the background of your stream. If you're a YouTube creator in the back of your, you know, talking head pieces or even in some of your B-roll shots. With the Decala Arches, the light is the main selling point for me. And it's the thing that it, I feel does best. And I can use that for a lot of things. I can use it to create ambient lighting for my, you know, camera setup. I can use it for B-roll. I can use it to create some nice ambient lighting in my bedroom. Um, you know, when I'm sitting in there and maybe reading a book and I don't want to read entirely in the dark, I do have an e-reader that has a built-in light, but maybe I don't want to read entirely in the dark. I can turn this light on. Um, it has the wireless charging. If you get the Elite, uh, which is super nice, I already use a wireless charger beside my bed anyways. You know, you do get a lot of functionality and a lot of really great things with it. And I feel like you can really be a little bit, you could be pretty flexible with how you decide to use it for yourself. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep it beside my bed or keep it here in the background of my shots, but if you continue watching in my future videos, you'll know which decision I make. In the end, I'm glad they sent it over. I'm looking forward to playing around with it a little bit more and maybe seeing how I can implement it in B-roll. That's, I think, what I'm gonna mainly use it for. Um, it's gonna be a really nice ambient light. I do get a lot of options with it. It can get very, very bright. So even if I don't want it to be directly in front of the lens, I can have it off to the side and creating a really nice soft light, which will be, you know, nice to accent certain products and give a little bit different color to my B-roll shots. The Elite is pretty pricey at $150. The Deluxe comes out to $140 US dollars. And for the quality of the speaker, that is a little bit disappointing. I would really wish that the speaker sounded a lot better for this price um it's very rattly it's very tinny and i'm personally just gonna continue using my google home as my speaker beside my bed and i like it otherwise like every other part of its feature set i i'm enjoying they all work really really well um using the smart life app is super useful because smart life is used with so many different devices so it makes it very easy and the fact that you can tie that into any of your assistants that you decide to use, whether that's uh, Amazon's or Google's, is really, really handy as well. But for this price point, you know, it's a hit or miss for you. I do feel more inclined 
to suggest the prismatic to a lot of people that aren't going to be using the clock or the charging features um, because I wouldn't suggest getting it for the speaker. So the prismatic is just the light and I think it is a really, really, really good alternative if the lighting on it is as good as the arches. So if you do want to go ahead and pick up one of the Decala Smart Lights, whether it's the Arches or the Prismatic, go ahead and check the link down in the description below and you can use code CADAC for 20% off. So if you found any of this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. All of these things do help out the channel and I try to reply to all comments as soon as I can. As always, thank you to my Patreon sponsor, Step Back. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Friday.